Well, hi everybody. Hank Linderman here. It's a little bit noisy where I'm at. Um, I'm out on the Ohio River visiting a friend who lives on a boat, and I'm on the back of the boat. We're kind of tootling around the river. Uh, hope you all are doing well. Uh, this is getting angry. We're here Monday through Friday at 4.30 Eastern, 3.30 Central. And uh, today, of course, is July 22nd. And um, like I say, I'm out on the river. Not where I expected to be today. I came into town for meetings and had various things to do. I did an interview with uh, a radio station that they'll be playing on Monday. I'll tell you about that. Um, I'm your Democratic nominee for Congress here in Kentucky's second district, just a little bit south of Louisville, Bullitt County down to Bowling Green, and then Owensboro over across to Danville. Um, so much to talk to you all about today. Let's uh, move over here. Oh, Cindy, uh, Cindy is here. I'm so glad you're here, Cindy. Uh, and everybody, please uh, do me a favor and share when you get the chance. Um, you know, we it really makes a difference. The more people we get to share this, this really, really helps. Now, I'm balancing my laptop on one hand, and uh, I'm hoping uh, everything is streaming okay. Oh, it looks like we might be. Oh, good. And we got a bunch of us listening. All right, so let's do some numbers first thing. And my computer is trying to take control. Uh, hang on one sec. Uh, yes. My computer took over. It started up another program because I'm sure I made a mistake. Chris Whiskey's here. Actually, Chris is the one driving the boat. Uh, hi, Susie. I'd love to see that uh, that uh, picture of the band we used to be in. I'll show you Chris. He's up piloting. I don't know if you can see him. There's Chris. So we are being socially distant as, uh, as we speak. Yes, uh, Sue, do me a favor. Please share this broadcast. And we're going to start doing some numbers here in a second. Um, because, boy... There's so much going on. It's it's all, and Barbara is back. Hi, Barbara. How are you, Barbara? Thank you so much. Barbara sent another contribution. I think no one has sent contributions more often than Barbara, and uh, that's fantastic. Mary is pretty close though. Uh, that's right. Today is Don Henley's birthday. Is it today or tomorrow? I thought it was tomorrow, but it might be today. Uh, happy birthday, Don. Fact. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, dear Don. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday, brother. All right. Uh, let's do some numbers. They're not good, unfortunately. This is here in the United States. We had another day with way too many new cases. And look at the deaths. They jumped right back up to over a thousand. These are this is a tragedy. Uh, we have not dealt with this virus. And you know that my answer is that we need to go Godzilla on this thing. We'll talk about that later, but obviously we're not able to do that yet. But that's what we're gonna have to do is go Godzilla on this virus. Let's, um, let me see if I can get another look. Okay, so this is California, sadly, has become our new number one for the states. They have jumped up over 10,000 new cases. Uh, Florida looks to be number one in terms of new deaths. 132 people died in Florida, which is tragic. I want to look at Kentucky as well, because unfortunately there's not great news in the great state of Kentucky either. We had 646 new cases yesterday. That's number two. That's the number two most amount of new cases in a single day that we've had since the virus started. So. That's really, really terrible. Florida is one of the worst. Uh, Florida, Texas, California. Oh, Ron Carrico wants to know where he can send a donation. Well, let's see, I'm gonna show you, let's go back to, um, I guess I better turn on my lower third and show you. Uh, let's see what this one is. It's, well, it's, it's hankforkentucky.com. Hank number four. KY.com. And hi, Mark Andes. Mark Andes is here. And uh, Mark, I hope you guys are doing well. Um, 
So back to these numbers. We, we really had a terrible, uh, we've had a terrible couple of days and I'm afraid things are, even President Trump is saying things are gonna get worse. And President Trump, I got a few thoughts for you. If you're not gonna do the right thing, why don't you get out of the way? If you're not willing to do what needs to be done, as we say, go Godzilla, you gotta go Godzilla. If you're not willing to do that, resign. I bet somebody else will be willing to do it. Uh, yes, there you go. Uh, to contribute, Ronnie, uh, go to hank4ky.com. Or if you're one of those folks who uses Venmo, that's really helpful. Haven't done bumper stickers, Mary, but I'll look into that. Thank you for asking. Now, I have something new to talk to you about. And this is something I think could be a massive, massive breakthrough. And it's... Um, saliva tests. You saw that our title for today was, is saliva the solution? Is saliva our salvation? It could be. They are developing, in the United Kingdom, they have developed a saliva test that can detect the virus days before you actually show any symptoms. This could be incredibly powerful and they've already started to run a public test. And they're looking to develop this into a do-it-yourself-at-home coronavirus test, which would be spectacular. I'm going to show you the text, and we'll read a little bit of it. Um, let's see, I'm going to try and make me a little bit smaller so I can see this. A new no-swab saliva coronavirus test that lets people collect their own sample at home by spitting into a pot is being trialed in the UK. They're trying it with 14,000 citizens. And I think if that works, they're going to expand that into the, uh, into the town, into Southampton. Something like about a quarter of a million people will be the next test. Now, tomorrow, everybody, I want you to be sure you tune in tomorrow because we're going to have a phone call with Dr. Greg Adams. Greg is a microbiologist and a surgeon. He's from Santa Clara County in California. That is Silicon Valley. He is uh, a graduate, I believe, of Stanford, and he also was an instructor at Stanford. And he's going to be a wealth of information. I can tell you, he said, what do you want to talk about? And I'll, I'll let, I'm going to read off to you the list of things I told him we would talk about. I said, well, subjects would be, what have you learned from treating patients? Any additional details about staying safe? We're going to ask him about the saliva tests. We're going to ask Greg, Dr. Greg, what would you do if you were in charge of dealing with the virus? Uh, I want to get his thoughts on the reporting changes where we've moved away from the CDC to Health and Human Services. I want to ask him about Remdesivir. We want to ask him about single payer. Uh, where do you think the virus originated? All that sort of stuff. And he's going to be talking to us tomorrow. So I think that, that would be great. Here's the rest of this text about the saliva. Um, they believe they're going to be able to use this test and identify people while they're infectious, but while they're still infecting people, but before they realize they're sick. This would be a total game changer. So um, uh, I think that would be just fantastic. Uh, I'm switching this over here. I wanted to say, give a shout out to all the folks who are checking in via Indivisible. Indivisible endorsed me and they sent me a nice check. That was very helpful. Oh, Mary Richardson says, ask about blood types. I think that's a great idea. So we will do that. Um, now, I want to thank all the Indivisible folks. Uh, let's briefly talk about going Godzilla. There's our picture of Godzilla. No copyright infringement intended. Um, Going Godzilla means that we go all in on defeating this virus, like so many other nations have. If we had done what the nation of Germany did, we would be looking at 70% fewer casualties. That's what's estimated. But if we had done as well as Singapore, or uh, Singapore is the one that comes to mind, they, they saved, if we, we had done as well as them, 99% of the people who died in the United States might not have had to die. Now, there are going to be all kinds of discussions about all kinds of differences, but one of the things you need to do is go Godzilla on this thing. We shut the country down, send people a check. In Canada, they sent $2,000 a month to each person, each adult in the country, and their job was to, damn it, stay at home. 
Now, we Americans need to do that. And look, I run into some of you all that are out there. Um, uh, I run into you all that I was just in a store today and I had my mask on, you know, like this. And there's still people running around, uh, you know, thinking it's okay. Kentucky has the highest rate of infectiousness right now based on uh, the R1 rate. I'm going to get this wrong, but we have a rate right now of 1.2. A rate of 1.0 means the virus doesn't grow. We want a rate below. We want a 0.9 or 0.8 or 0.7. That's what it takes to kill the virus off. We in Kentucky are at 1.2, and that is just not going to work. We are the worst in the United States right now. And some of that could be, I suppose, people not wanting to wear masks. Look, do the right damn thing, okay? You don't want to get angry at each other. Remember, we're here at getting angry. The point of getting angry is that you use it to focus yourself. You use it to build up some fire in your belly so you're ready to do the right thing. Pay no attention to those polls saying Joe Biden's going to win by 15 points. Pay zero attention to that. You all need to commit to doing the right thing to vote. By the way, if you're not registered in Kentucky, I think you have until October 4th to register, possibly October 5th. Go to GoVoteKY.com. Uh, do a search for voting info in Kentucky. But damn it, get out there and register. Do the right thing. Look, thank you all so much. I'm. Uh, this is kind of a short one. We're getting ready to pull in, and then we have uh, meetings coming up at 5 o'clock uh, just up the road. So I'm going to do that. Thank you all so much for being here. It's an honor. It's a privilege. You know I love you. And I'll see you tomorrow at 3.30 with 3.30 Central, 4.30 Eastern, with Dr. Greg Adams, uh, microbiologist and surgeon. He's going to talk to us about the virus and hopefully answer a whole lot of questions for us. All right. You all take care.